This is a pneumatic can crusher. It uses air pressure to smash aluminum cans. Door. I'm unloading the air compressor. I'm going to open the box. It's pretty cool. This is a very low power, low noise California air deal. I'm going to pull down all of these bags of pop cans I've been saving. Some of them are Zivia, some of them are beer. Look at the unit. You can freeze or slow that down if you want. It's nice. Here's the owner's manual. You can freeze frame on any of that if you want to read it. Very comprehensive and detailed. I'm going to hook up the compressor. Now I'm going to plug the air hose into the foot pedal like that. We're going to check. It's said in the owner's manual, make sure there's an air filter on the intake. And there it is. Perfect. Now we're going to close that, turn it on. We're going to let it build pressure like this. Now we're going to just do this, and this is time lapse, so you can see the process. That high pitch hum buzz in the background is the sound of the compressor sped up significantly. There's just a, a lot of action. I time lapse sped this up by a factor of 20 in most of these clips. Um, the whole video is only 3 minutes 55, so if I didn't use a bunch of clever editing, it would take forever. Here's what it actually sounds like during a run. And you can see the gauge needles drop when I cycle it. Now, this has less than one cubic foot per minute or SCFM, whatever output. It's a 1P1060 SP California Air Cool Light Quiet Air Compressor. Um, something with a little higher CFM would have probably worked better, but I wanted something lightweight, small, compact, low power consumption. Isn't that cool? Something satisfying about the way it works. Here's the up close on the compressor. You can hear what it sounds like. Barely 60 decibels. It's actually a very soft sound on the small. There's the foot pedal. You have to hold it down while the arm crushes. Generates almost 300 pounds of pressure force. So that's enough to smash your fingers or smash your hand and send you to the emergency room. So absolutely no hands in the machine while you're pressing the pedal. This is not a device for children. Whoop, what's going on? Oh, there we go. You can see the camera wobbling here. I had it mounted to the machine. If it charges all the way to the full pressure, I can get about two can pressure before it turns back on. In order to avoid cycling it, I just kind of throttled it the whole time and kept it going. By every time I got to about 100, 110 psi, I'd fire the unit. You can do about six to ten cans per minute using this compressor on this device. Here is a water separator. A lot of water actually built up. I ended up purging the actual compressor and this device three or four times. You can see the water vapor coming out. Do that. It keeps your tools clean of water. 